my inner me. She is the goddess, she is the singer, the story, the poet. She is the song, the story, the poem. Hello everybody, this is Mama Mochi. Swariha Tukun. Anaseyo everybody. <laughs> uh, yes, today is the day that I want to share the songs that hit me the most of my favorite artist that really hit me in the heart. And um, I'm gonna do it in how you say it in on <clears throat> in the order that I found them. So I'm gonna start with BTS because BTS was the first one and how I started the channel. <laughs> and then Boy Song Pop came. Um, like BTS is my only love, real love from Korea, but. Uh, Boy Song Pop, Pop is my rak rak, my first love from Thailand. And then Jeb Satura came. And then Tilly Birds came. And then <laughs> our precious Nong Nont came. <laughs> so he will be the last because he came, he came in this year. So <laughs> I only know him like six months. Wow. And I think I know who Boy Song Pop. Oof. I, I think I I think I even know him before BTS because I know I'm from dynamite era like I'm sorry but I am <laughs> and um, and I, I saw until we meet again like end of 2019 or early 2020 some something that before BTS so but BTS is how I started and and if you know my story I was so in love with until we meet again and this this amazing voice that kept singing in in the whole series but I could not figure out who that was it took me a lot of time to figure out and how to find out that was boy some boy some who was singing in the OST I, I I have been living under a rock for a long time and I still do Hey, don't blame me. I still do, <laughs> but um, that was really, yep. So yeah, even though Boy Song Pop was first, BTS started everything, <coughs> started this channel, started making me happy <laughs> with their music. So and um, and then after after the fact. I found out who Boy Song Pop was, who that beautiful voice was in Until We Meet Again. So that's why I, and and only BTS is Korean and the rest is all Thai. So, uh, but this is how I started. I know I heard Boy Song Pop first, but did not know who he was. <laughs> uh, but yeah, BTS did did change my life. They do change my life. They're such a light bringers i think i think everyone that i i connect with if it's bts boy song pop jab tilly birds nond they're all such a special people they all have this 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 light in them that they bring out with their music with their art so and they all have unique voices like all of them and none of them are the same and i love that and um <clears throat> i was thinking like oh what kind of songs of bts really hit me well of course there are the, your eyes tell is beautiful uh, but i think chris, if, uh, chris why do i do i say crystal snow i mean the truth untold live performance the one that i did years ago on my channel it's gone it's not so i found another one with english subtitles i think because i think all these artists that i love are way better live than studio versions but especially bts especially vocal line bts are so good live so i'm gonna start off with the truth untold but i'm gonna do two 
from every artist that I, I love because with some artists I couldn't choose. So I decided to do two and <clears throat> I wanted to do only First Love from Jungi. That song, when I first heard it, that is oh, the emotion in there. It's so pure, it's so raw, it's so beautiful. But I thought, yeah, if I do from other artists too, then I, then it should be truth untold. So I'm going to start with BTS. I don't know if I'm going to gonna cry or not. I don't know. I'm not feeling very like over emotional. So I'm, I'm kind of feeling okay, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so it, it helps when you're already in, your, in, in a sad mood to put these songs on to bring you even in a sadder mood. And I, I explained to my friend um, Yoka, like, um, especially when, when there's things going on inside me, I, I love to listen to songs that make me feel all the emotions because it needs to get out. And it's hard to, oh, I just had my tea, sorry. <laughs> it's hard to, to sometimes get all my emotions out because I have a child with autism and it's not that I want to hide, but I know I have to lock up most of the time my feelings because he doesn't know how to deal with it and he will be feel guilty. He will feel a lot of things that it's not necessary. So I always have to keep it locked until I'm alone, really alone. Then I can cry in the shower or in my bed or wherever. But when the time comes that I'm alone, it's it's always like, how do I get these emotions out? Because you've been, I've been hiding them or locking them, not hiding them, but locking them up behind a, a big metal door with a lock and key. So how do I break that open? Sometimes I don't know how to get back in. Did it, I feel them behind them. They're, they're burning behind them, but I don't know how to get the lock off the door. So that's why I need beautiful music that just <clears throat> hits my heart and crack open the door. So, and these are my songs from every artist I picked to. And sometimes it's hard, but with Boy Song Pop it's hard because there are many songs from him that makes me emotional. Talking about him always makes me emotional. I don't know. I feel, I, I don't know. Uh, he's just special to me. Let's start with, with, with the truth untold. I hope things won't get blocked from BTS. If so, then it's so. <laughs> it's nothing that I can do about it. Then it will be blurred. And, but I always put the, the, the original links in the description. So if you want to find them yourselves, you can. And this is such an emotional song. So we have a lot to do. We have a lot of songs. Five artists, ten songs. <laughs> so let's do it. Oh, and Little Dude is with Tom, his uh, guider. There are uh, like the end of October, the town over opened up a cat cafe. So they're, they're trying the cat cafe today. So, wow, <laughs> I want to go there too. <laughs> so they're, they're there. <laughs> uh, let's start. Oh, the lyrics are so poetic and so beautiful and heartfelt. And, yeah. oh. I saw you me 
just beautiful the emotions how they sing wow it's just wow ah that that hit me and it hit me because oh, i i i've been missing my guys ah oh. <clears throat> uh, i haven't been really listening to bts i've i've listened to the solo once or twice solo albums but it's so hard to listen to full BTS when they're not together. I don't know. I miss I miss them. I know Jin and Hobi are back, but it still feels so un incomplete. So I don't know. So I've I've been distancing myself from BTS because I don't know. It feels so ah. But BTS is forever. So they they're not gone from me. Not at all because. I can't wait for Jin's album to come and reach me. I always, I, I, it's been in, 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 in um, uh, I've bought it, but this, the girl that um, always makes sure that I get all my BTS albums, she's now studying in Korea for a few months, a few weeks, I don't know, two months or something. So, I have to wait for Jin, but that's okay. I, I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. and uh, But I have like all the albums here and downstairs. I have all their their solo albums. So they're not gone or something. The love is still here because I still have here Speak Yourself. And you know, I have J-Hope. Okay, I don't know if you can see. I have J-Hope <laughs> here. So, and they're everywhere. You can see it, but they're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so they're not gone but I miss them so it's hard it's, I don't know it makes it harder to listen to them that's what I have wow 
Oh, beautiful song. What a beautiful lyrics. Ah. Ooh. And I found uh, First Love Life. I don't know. I don't know if I saw it. I just skipped through it a little bit to see if it was a good quality. So I hope it won't get blocked. Otherwise, uh, but First Love Yungi. Ah. Let's do it. Uh, I love this young man so much. Ooh. From the moment I heard this song, it just... The emotions. Could <laughs> なんて、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、
the song every time, even the studio version, if I just play it, it just hits me, it, the raw emotions. And um, now I know, I know, I know the lyrics because I, I did a, for both songs, for Truth Untold and for um, First Love, I did a, a drawing, so I, I know the lyrics. But before I could nothing like, like Korean, just like Thai is like a magical language to me. So, so I only can feel the emotions what they give me. So, and it was so powerful, and I would just turn it on my stereo and just open up the volume and just let Jungi go on the song. And every time it's just ah, oh, it would be just because it I didn't know what what. I did know the piano. I was about the piano, the the brown piano in the corner of his mind. I, I, I later on found out it was about the piano, but that I did not know what it's about. So, but the rawness and the emotions he he feels is so pure. It's so pure. Ah, it's so beautiful. Whew. And now I need to and, and need to. Now I'm going to go to Boy Song Bob. Wow, you did a good job, uh, BTS. Because this song from Boys on Pop, uh, who it's an old one. Oh, let me give it a like. It's an old one, but it's so beautiful. I wish she would sing this song. And it's from Love Sick, the series. So, whew. but I think this is so beautiful. Who and Boys on Pop. Uh, there are so many songs that, like. The Cry for the Star, the with the orchestra, I find that so emotional. Um, Bird, <coughs> I don't know how to say it in in Thai. Bird, also, it's uh, it's the song that I make the painting that I gave to Boy Some Pop last year. So that song, if I hear that that version. It will make me cry, it, but the whole song will make me cry. But especially that version that I that I used to make the drawing and the painting, that will make me instantly cry. So I did not put it in there. <laughs> Maybe I will play that on my birthday <laughs> in a few weeks, <laughs> uh, but not now. No, Th these these two and I I love. Yeah, l let's just start with this one. So beautiful. Just close your eyes and listen and feel. I don't know what's the song about. But it's so beautiful.
สุดท้ายหนทางที่ตัวฉันได้เลือกไปเธออาจเสียใจกับทางที่ฉันนั้นเลือกเดินอยากให้เชื่อใจอยากให้เธอรู้ความรักฉันที่มีมันจะไม่มีเปลี่ยนไปไม่มีเปลี่ยนลายตางวันเวลาต่อยทางขึ้นหน้าเป็นเช่นไรฉันจะเลือกเดินทางซ้ายหรือทางขวาแต่อยากให้เธอรู้ไว้ฉันเองจะจับมือเธอตลอดเวลาอยากคอยเธอมั่นใจและรู้ไว้ว่ารักฉันที่มีจะไม่เปลี่ยนแปลกี่ชากี่นาเรื่องราวยังคงวนเวียนอยู่อีกนี้กี่ฝนหนไปนานเท่าไรไม่เคยมีใครอยู่ตรงนี้มีเพียงเรากับความเหงาใจจะมีวันได้ได้พบเจอขอเพียงสักนาทีให้ฉันได้เจอเจอคนที่รอคนนั้นก็ยังคงหวังทั้งทั้งที่รู้ว่าไม่มีหวังก็ยังคงหวังและยังรอคอยให้เวลาสะนอนของคำคืนพ้นผ่านมาทอรมาจะนานจนดวงดาวลบเลือนหายไปก็อิงจะหวังทั้งทั้งที่รู้ว่าต้องผิดหวังก็อิงจะหวังในการรอคอยที่เลื่อนลอยขอเพียงแค่หนึ่งครั้งแค่ครั้งเดียวเพียงเสียวหนึ่งคงนาทีคนคนนี้ไม่ต้องเงาใจ Oh, beautiful. 
服。Very old clip of Boy Sompa singing this. I think in a fan meeting, and he couldn't. He was, he got so emotional. Oh, I understand. It's an emotional song, and the their voices blend so beautiful together. I'm so glad that Du was uh, at Boy Sompa's concert. Ah, uh, he's a funny guy, <laughs> but wow. Ah, uh, already four, Ooh, beautiful songs. Ooh, we still have six to go. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Next, it's Jeff, and well, I really love the Thai version of "Why Don't You Stay." I really do. It's the English version that got me last year. I, I, we had the Thai version first before the English version came out, so I, I uh, found it already so beautiful with just guitar. But I am a sucker for piano. You already know that. So uh, songs with just voices and piano is just my thing. But. 
I don't know. Last year, bef before, I, I think from like January till October, that, that's from last year. I think I, uh, somewhere in October, I started to feel better. But in that time period, I was so off. I was so bad. I was so... Uh, I couldn't get a grip on myself. I was like, I was like out of my body and watching myself and I couldn't get myself back. Now I know what, what, what it was, but it got me mentally also. I just, I had like almost no more iron in my system, in my blood. And it, we found out and I had to take a lot of iron, iron, iron to get my levels back up to a normal level. But we found out if your iron is I almost had nothing. If you have nothing, you can literally die from it. But also it will make you mentally so, so messed up that people with, with no iron take their own life. And um, I, I was very close. I was very close. I was I could not get I could not understand what's what was happening to me. It's like I couldn't I was just so far away. I just saw myself and I could not get any grip on myself. And then uh, I I just went to my my doctor and I said this is not okay. Do I have a burn out? What what's wrong with me? This is not who I am. And so we did a full checkup with blood and we found out I had no iron. Like mm. so um but it takes a lot of time to get your iron back up, um, especially me. <laughs> so, uh, and I had to do a lot of hospital visits because the, um, as a female, we have that thing once a month. And it was just awful for me. It's like I was bleeding so much that they thought my iron goes that way but they had to figure out if there's something wrong with my womb so I had to have the kind of kind of kind of kind of kind of how you call her the words now uh, she went look at my womb and uh, to see if there's something wrong but there was nothing wrong but somehow my iron just keeps getting out of my system so now Two times a week I need to take iron pills even if it's still up here it goes down like we don't know where it's somewhere there's a I, I, there's a leakage <laughs> my iron just goes poof so I have to keep it up especially now I'm almost 51 so I'm in uh, menopause I don't know how you call it I'm just going through a lot <laughs> female wise system wise I have hot flashes and um, so I have to keep my iron up but you know what was strange the moment my iron was back to the normal level the whole like mentally stuff that I couldn't get out of like I was I, I was almost like Jungi trapped uh, like in, in a Miklada with the door closed you know I was like that I couldn't get out um, uh, and the other side couldn't get in to save me but after the iron was back up to normal that all just was like that it was gone so it was so weird to f just go into bed literally and waking up like I'm back I'm back I'm me again because I I am an emotional person yes I am but I'm I'm not a mentally person I don't know how to say it I've been depressed I've been through a whole lot of things my whole life but this was different. This was so different. I was. I, I went to the doctor. Say, what? What is this? Is it a burnout? But it didn't feel like a burnout. This was something else, and it was. <laughs> so, uh, but in during that time, I uh, painted the painting that I made for Boys on Bob with a bird, the song, and um, I'm for sure that that there are real tears in that painting I've cried so much it, it I could cry and and start crying and couldn't stop for hours I would just get into this this episodes of crying 
that I think my whole neighborhood could hear me cry. It, it came from somewhere and I couldn't stop and I could almost not breathe anymore. It was just so exhausting. So ex I, I needed some someone to get me out of those episodes. And, and it was Boy Son Pop who, with his voice, with his beautiful music, just... He made me just calm down. It's like that. I think that's why I get emotional when I talk about Boys from Pop. Because I I know I know for sure if he if I didn't know him his music I've I've listened to his music on repeat in that period. I think the the iron would have got me. I I almost called the helpline for for suicide because i was this far away and it, it was like this is not me who can help me get out of this it's just it's so stupid my doctor and i after the fact when my iron was back up we talked about it and she said yes your mental state was pure because you had no iron and i li literally lost half of my hair it was every day i was brush and i had like this much hair it went thinner and thinner and thinner i lost uh, i lost so much i my skin wouldn't heal nothing iron is so important so if you feel very you don't know just go have a checkup in your blood to see if everything is still on level because this simple thing like iron the rest of the vitamin d everything else was good not my iron i i cannot i i say this to so many people if you go do at least once a year a checkup on your blood to see how how you're especially when you're older please do so it's so it was so weird but boy some pop was just like my lifeline he with his voice he knew just how to take me out of the funk i was in every time when i got stuck and couldn't breathe i was like hyperventilating it's so not me so not me i was like i don't recognize myself who is this woman it's not me i'm the one yes i've i've know how to 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 be depressed and stuff but i'm the one who loves to laugh i'm not the one who cries all day night it was so weird it was so weird and boy some pop yeah that's why i think i feel a special bond with this young man he just i i, I literally think he saved my life just by listening to his music so in that period i painted the the painting and bird was on the I, I i will i will i will do that song on my birthday it's because it means so much to me because it means um i don't know i don't know it means that song is i don't know i don't know how to explain it that song means so much to me it, with love it's and all my love and and thank you and is in that little painting so it was such a uh, precious and amazing thing that i could give him on my 50th birthday this little painting because without him his music I, w I don't think I would be here. He, he literally saved my life with his voice, with his music, and catchy, the, his his band. So, that, so I think that's why I, I always get emotional when I talk about Boys on Pop. But in that time, I also listened. I cried a lot under the shower because uh, I would have put I would put music on because little uh, um little dude was home also not not all the time he went uh, uh, more to his father i i, I said D -d little dude cannot be here with me while i'm in this state it, this is too hard for him and for me but when he was i would put why don't you stay on my little little uh speaker in the shower on loud and i would cry so hard at this song with this song and sing with it and maybe because that's why i like the english because i can really sing with it because i know the words more than thai so yes, but this song is very emotional i don't know if it will hit me today as when it did then because i was in a very different state of mind <laughs> but wow 
so now now you know a little bit more about my story from last year <laughs> so when i went to thailand in december i was feeling so much more myself i was almost back to uh me and in thailand i i connected reconnected with myself yes and i'm i'm still very happy about it and then meeting boy som pop and beautiful thai people that i still still connected with me till this day we we still uh text and say hi to each other uh, so that I, 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 that's why i, I want to study thai so much i want to learn thai so much so i can have because some of them can speak english <laughs> so i really want to say hi and really have a conversation in thai with them so i'm studying hard but it takes with my brain it takes a while <laughs> okay enough talking let's go to uh jab Ah, uh, piano and jab his voice so beautiful. All this time I sing, drowning like a stone, trying to close my eyes, shut my ears on this drone, losing my way home. Then you came along. Everywhere we are felt like where I belong Lost in your eyes there was no place I could hide Take me inside and let me live in your mind No pain tonight this place reserved for only you and Oh, oh, oh. 
it brings me right back. <laughs> ah, I don't want to ever go back to that time. <laughs> ah, wow. <sighs> amazing song. Amazing. Amazing artist also. Ah. Whew. But they all are. All the people that I love. All the beautiful artists that I love they're all so amazing in their own way and they're 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 all real artists like they're all singers songwriters uh, producers uh, yes even even non I know he writes his own stuff too but doesn't sing them he knows he knows how to do all of that too and they all have unique voices and have their own unique style ah oh, this is so beautiful and then I'm going. I rain wedding. I've, I even yeah. Ghost and yellow leaf are beautiful, and he has a lot of other beautiful songs like Lucid. But I find rain wedding, especially the live performance that he did just a few weeks ago. Ah, that one is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. I just, I just want to do that. And he is live so good. But they're all live so good. None of them aren't good life. They're all amazing life. But this uh, so beautiful. Do we have lyrics? Uh, we don't need lyrics. We know. We know what it's about. I still want to see the movie. Come to Europe. Come to the Netherlands with the movie. I want to see it. Uh. Uh. Uh, again, a voice with piano. It's just. Uh.
Oh yeah, Jeff. Uh, what can we say about this dude? So talented. What a beautiful voice. I think after all these songs, I'm just floored <laughs> emotionally. <laughs> because it's like BTS started it, but everybody's just giving... <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, beautiful. Whew. Yeah, a powerful voice. Powerful. And they're all so talented. Ah. I think I think Boy Song Pop is the oldest in the group, <laughs> but everybody else is uh, it's like 28, 29, 30, 31. <laughs> and Boy Song Pop, I think you're 34 or 5 something. I'm the oldest, <laughs> but wow. Ah. Whew. Tilly Birds, uh, I love Tilly Bird the third. His voice uh, is so unique, also. And I found uh, the so the two songs that I really think they're beautiful. That I also last year put on stereo. I wish I I I w uh, also knew not back then, because I I w for sure would have blasted some songs of Nond over my stereo in that period, not just. Oh, <laughs> I think it's Nongrada. Okay, okay, can I can I just go take a look? Mm -hmm. Oh, I miss you too very much. Nongrada, she is my, um, oh, oh, <laughs> little dude at the cat cafe, <laughs> can I show you, <laughs> let me see, I need to see the camera, <laughs> where's the camera, <laughs> a little bit more here, can you see, little dude at the cat cafe, <laughs> that's cute, uh, did not know they were sending me. Uh, oh, <sighs> he asked me a lot of things, little dude. Uh, okay, here you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, no, Rada, she's. She's my Thai friend who lives like 15 minutes away from me and she's not feeling well and I wanted to, I haven't seen her for weeks. First she had a appendicitis, I think, uh, operation and today she went to the doctor again. She doesn't feel right and I don't have a car, I'm not in the state physically to go and with the bus to find her all by myself so I wish I could just see her but she's not feeling well so it makes me sad and we miss each other it's like kitten <laughs> she wrote me kitten mak mang <laughs> like ah <laughs> oh, I miss you too <sighs> uh, let's go back to the songs I will call her later so dilly birds these two songs I really love and um, I saw they did uh, like a virtual concert they're doing it live so I was like okay let me, I don't know I don't know let's just listen to them I don't know how they will affect me because I only know the the <laughs> Studio version, that's what I want to say. Can <laughs> <laughs> 
มีเสียงรถมากมายแต่ฉันได้ยินแค่เสียงร้องไห้ของเธอบอกไม่อยากให้ฉันมาพบเธอเธอบอกว่าในตอนนี้เธอดูไม่ดีแต่ช่างมันเธอนะฉันทำได้แค่ช่วยเช็ดน้ำตาแต่ก็ไม่รู้จะพูดกับเธอว่าไงเป็นภาระของใครเธอบอกไม่อยากให้ใครดูแลรวยไปไม่อยากลำบากใครอีกแล้วแต่ลองมองมาที่ฉันทำไม่ไหวเธอได้กับฉันOkay. Wow. See, unconsciously, unconsciously, subconsciously. How do you say that? I just, I was drawn to this song last year. But reading the lyrics is like, huh? Understand? <laughs> huh? Wow. It's even more beautiful this way. Wow. What a performance. His voice is so beautiful. Uh, and it started off just his voice over two ears and the guitar, the acoustic guitar, uh, in my in my uh, left ear. And then when the electric guitar came in, it came in my right ear. It was like it, it felt a bit out of balance in the beginning, but then it came all together. It was uh, a good choice, beautiful. Wow! Oh, not a great group of people. Musicians, artists. Whew. And this song, I love this song also so much from them. I uh, only know both of them in studio versions. So, uh, 
but I think this song I heard uh, the second one I think I heard it live once before I think at a non the non concert could it be or am I just spacing out now <laughs> so many emotions uh, I love this song
way better than the studio version <laughs> and that was already so emotional Whew. wow 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 oh the both songs beautiful oh Wow, they're amazing. Yeah, they're amazing. And do I remember that Non Fam told me in this song that ah, that was Non in there? Do I remember that right? Like, so that. Even even though I did not know Nun back then, I've heard him. <laughs> I thought that Nun Fam told me that like months ago, that he was in this. Ah, <sighs> wow! What a perform both ah, oh. ah, oh. gorgeous. Ah, oh. oh, these songs are so beautiful, all of them. Ah, uh, and now we come to our Nong, our youngest member of my group. <laughs> oh, I didn't give it a like. Let's give it a like. I will give the other one later a like. I di didn't do that. But our Nong Nond, ugh, too many songs to choose from that may make me emotional with him. Also, like boys on pop. <laughs> Uh, you know, Rak Rak is a song that has uh, also meaning to me because that's the first thing I, I um, when I met uh, Nong Rada, my teacher, my friend, she became my friend right away. We were just connected right away, Nong Rada and me. Um, and oh, she's so sweet. And we did Rak Rak. Ah, I still remember. <laughs> I haven't practiced for a long time this song. But that song just has an emotional uh, meaning for me because it's, uh, it's, it, it's just between uh, Nong Rada and me. It's just our song. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Uh, that song is emo so it's 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 an emotional song if if you've seen the music video and saw the little clips with Nanon and and the beautiful girl and the meaning of the song it's a beautiful song and um of course uh, the, a, f a few uh, he did at um as pet noi in uh, mask singer thailand but they are not his songs that he covered them and but they're so beautiful um like rakta oh that's so beautiful and the song that i did uh, was it monday um that song is so painfully beautiful the way he puts his emotions in there so but I chose these t these two, always with me. I've ah, that song is so beautiful, and somehow I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who <coughs> wrote it. But it also, when I first heard it, uh, it had a Tilly Birds feeling. I don't know why. It has it has something Tilly Birds. I don't know. I don't know who wrote it or produced it. I don't know. But it has this Tilly Birds feeling f for me. And I love the song and I wanted, I, I tried to find it, we couldn't find it. The live performance 
where he's all up there and then you see all the people with the violins and the cellos uh that performance is so beautiful i couldn't find it don't know where where i saw it i couldn't find it so uh i just have the lyric video uh but i i think life is more powerful more powerful and uh and and i know he's still singing the song and you can just see uh, you can see in his face when he's feeling it when he's really feeling he's always feeling it but when he really feels it it's like he, he does something with his face i don't know how to explain it <laughs> but you can just see it when he's really feeling it and and wow that's just <laughs> Oh, this is such a beautiful song, always with me. But I read I have the, the life, but I couldn't find the life. There are many lives out there, but I loved that one. So, but I just chose to do this one. But it's also so beautiful. Let's, uh, so beautiful. Uh,
Ah, uh, another amazing, beautiful song. Ah. Uh. Uh, I was just thinking, I. we have to do this one live too. We have to. But let's finish up with the other song that I, that I really, that really I find so emotional. I, f I find this version very beautiful. I've seen it many times. <laughs> I've listened to it on Spotify a lot of times. Uh, the way he sings in this song. Uh, there's pain in this in in this in in this performance in this music video uh so beautiful but but this song always with me i'm i'm going to i'm going to look it up uh, a live version we have to, we we have to finish off everybody did 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 something live right so let's just let's just let's just finish up with non life this this song is so beautiful ah whoo okay but this this song ah what what is it about this song that just ugh, my heart <laughs>
that song just hits me every time. Oh. It's not just the song, it's just his singing. There's he's just singing with so much emotion, with so much feelings. Oh. Whew. Ah, wow. We came to the end of my playlist. Ah. Wow. These are for me very emotional songs. Oh. <laughs> See if I can find always with me live. It's in here. Ah, oh, but this song is so beautiful. Uh, shall we do this? This one is a good performance. It's a good one. Let's finish it off with this one. I still uh, like the other one very much uh, in the in the concert. Is it loud enough? Yes. เราจะร้องเพลงนี้กันในช่วงสุดท้ายนะครับเพลงนี้ชื่อเพลงว่าทุกนาทีที่สวยงามนะครับ That young man can sing. Ah, uh, uh, I love all the instruments that I I love. Uh, this one is a good one too. Let's finish up with this one. Oh, oh, his voice. พรุ่งนี้ที่เดินกันมาแล้วเราพบกันอีกแล้วใจวันหนึ่งที่เราต้องจากกันไปถ้าเธอไม่ไม่ฉันแล้วอยู่ได้ไหมคำถามมากมายที่อยากให้เธอนั้นตอบเย็นมึนบึ้งไหมใจเต็มไปด้วยคำถามแต่ไม่มีเธอรับฟังอยู่อีกแล้วเหมือนตอนที่เธอและฉันเคยคิดข้างกันไม่มีเธอที่ฉันจะลืมทั้งเรื่องร้ายในวันที่เราจากกันและเรื่องดีๆที่ทำให้รู้ว่าช่วงเวลาเหล่านั้นมันจะสวยงามดีคำถามที่มันยังคาดในใจจะรู้ไหมมันทรมานขนาดทุกเรื่องร้ายชัดเหมือนเมื่อวานฉันไม่เคยจะลืมแม้ผ่านไปนานถ้าความช่วยงามไม่ขาดมากมายกันไม่เคยทิ้งมันไปไหนชีวิตด้วยใจที่ตากสลายเพราะว่าเธอเป็นเหมือนสิ่งสุดท้ายเรื่องราวมากมายที่อยู่ในใจที่ใจเพื่อเก็บความเปิดไว้ใจเต็มไปด้วยคำถามแต่ไม่มีเธอแล้วฟังอยู่อีกแล้วเหมือนตอนที่เธอและฉันแค่เคียงข้างกันไม่มีเธอที่ฉันจะลืมทั้งเรื่องเรื่องร้ายในวันที่
like time. I don't know. It feels like time. Ah, oh, so beautiful. song is this Such a sweetheart. You see, he does that with his face. I, I don't know when he's feeling it. He's emotionally does this with this face. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> that smile. Wow. That 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 I loved about this ending. You would think like a bam, but he just kept it like quiet. So the ending, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful song. Ah This is life. So good. So good. Ah What a voice. Wow. So this, these are my favorite emotional songs <laughs> and there there are, are more from these artists of course but these are my favorite yeah and I'm curious in like a next year or two years 
will this list be changed? Will these still be because all of them are still making music and performing and and giving us new art? So because I think the the most newest song in here is like a rain wedding. So uh, I just love that performance. The song also is beautiful as uh, in the studio version, but it, I don't know. Voice and piano. You have heard me say it so many times. Voice and piano is just, uh, it's like heaven to me. So, but I also like uh, the fullness, like this last song, always with me, this has this fullness, this, this build up, and, and why you don't you stay has that also. And um, uh, the Tilly Bird song, the, the second one, also has that build up. I love that too. So, ah, uh, uh, and I like the, 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 yeah, just the quiet with the piano. It's like, uh, whoo, what an emotional ride. <laughs> and I did it myself. <laughs> and, uh, I love, I love these artists. Oh, beautiful songs. Whoo. Uh, and, and some of these songs I haven't heard for a while, like Truth Untold and, uh, First Love, this, the song from Love Sick that I don't know what it's called because I can't read Thai. Uh, Hope with Do, I haven't heard. Uh, why Don't You Stay? I haven't heard for a while. Even the songs from Tilly Birds, I haven't heard for a while. So, But then hearing them live, uh, all of them are live so good. So good. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Whew. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Whew. Whew. Ah, and now I'm hungry. It's uh, almost 1 p.m. And it's 1 hour and 41 minutes. So <laughs> ah, let's see if, if, if my, my system, my computer system will edit this. I hope nothing gets blocked. Please, BTS, because we know BTS is uh, difficult lately. So... Uh, copyrights I don't mind but blocking I I don't like so please let don't block don't block any of these don't don't <laughs> <sighs> beautiful songs uh, and it's good to get into your feelings it's good to get into your emotions nothing wrong with it <laughs> okay ah uh, well cup kunha <laughs> for being here and and listening to my playlist of of songs that hit me emotional and helps me when I can get I need to get in there but I can't get in there just put on these songs I will be there <laughs> so and you can tell me in the comments what are your song your go-to song when you want to cry <laughs> and it can be any artist anybody I would love to to hear your songs, your 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 choices. <laughs> ah. ah, I didn't sleep well last night, so I keep, I keep yawning. Especially when you have feelings, when you feel a lot of emotions, you you start to yawn. Also, at least I will. So ah, thank you for being here. Uh, and and. I need to wrap this up because otherwise it will be way too long to put out on YouTube. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, this this weekend um, with my guest, we're going to do Boy Song Pop's full concert. First concert in Bangkok from this year. So exciting. Oh, exciting. I know my song Bird is in there. I know. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll see you. Uh, there and then it will take me some time to edit i will make it in three blocks because it's a long concert uh so see you soon uh have a good weekend and um remember mama mochi loves you 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 chandrakta <gasps> sarangi <laughs> Bye, beautiful people. Bye-bye. See you soon. Bye-bye. I love you. Bye-bye.